Okay. All right. We're back to the third session of our series where patient H here has had relatively negative canal width testing, a negative hall pike on right and left for posterior canal and a negative roll test for right and left horizontal canal. So the best course of action would be doing the Brant daroff maneuver, which is for habituation and for canal width repositioning. And it's a generic canal with repositioning for both posterior and horizontal, if done without pillows. This particular test 20 years ago, and I've been doing vestibular therapy for 28 years now, used to <coughs> use pillows and gradually over time they've removed the pillows and let the head go into more extension where traditionally it was done in flexion. Uh, we're going to do it in neutral, which is how it's most often done today. You've never done this test and you're a real patient. So I'll, I'll take you through it. Um, you're going to turn your head 45 degrees this way. And then you're going to go this way and just keep your head from too far going one way or the other. You don't have to touch the thing. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have my hand right under okay. your head. Are you ready? Yeah. And one, two, three, down go. Yep. Just like that. 45 degrees of rotation is what we want and sources vary to let the head go all the way down or to keep the head in neutral. I think if you let the head go down into more extension, it helps with the posterior canal corrections. Do you hold this 30 seconds? Any symptoms? There's no symptoms after 30 seconds. You go back to neutral. Ready? Yep. And look straight ahead. Any symptoms? No. And you should warn your patient that there may be symptoms with this. There often are. And after 30 seconds, we'll go the other direction. We need to.